Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the 2013 Telugu movie, Idarame Alatho. This movie is directed by Puri Jagnanath and stars Alu Arjun, Catherine Tressa, and Samantha Akinini. The focal priest is confronting allegations of having dark cash of 1 trillion rupees in tax evasion into Europe through his clueless little girl Akansha, a brain science understudy who goes to Barcelona to seek after advanced education. Akansha tracks down a journal in her level in Barcelona, and, wondering for no specific reason, she begins perusing the book, which unfurls the heartfelt show between Sanju Reddy and Kamali Sankaraparanam. Akansha gets participated in Paris with her dad's thug Shawar Ali. As it turns out, she runs into Sanju and becomes acquainted with him. Sanju is a designer turned lead guitarist of a music band and makes his living through stage and road exhibitions. As described in the journal, Komali comes from a standard Telugu Brahmin family. She is keen on traditional music and winds up learning the violin at a melodic school in Barcelona under fiddle teacher, Brahma. In a spot of destiny, she goes gaga for Sanju and gets endorsement for their between-rank marriage from their folks in India. Komali unwittingly gets found out after a video film that she unintentionally shot while Shawar Ali kills the Spanish diplomat during the time spent tax evasion. Sanju saves Komali from these colleagues in two or three events, this is where the story in the journal closes unexpectedly. Wondering for no specific reason, Akansha begins examining Sanju concerning their romantic tale and, all the while, winds up with upsetting realities. On non-stop asking by Akansha, Sanju tells her that Komali is dead. It is then displayed in a flashback that for fixing the marriage of Sanju and Komali, their folks had come to Spain. It was around then that Komali is captured by Shawar Ali's sibling, and when Sanju comes to save her, Komali is killed by Shawar Ali's sibling. Angrily, Sanju slams up the entire posse, and Shawar Ali's sibling goes into a trance-like state. On hearing this, Akansha feels frustrated about Sanju and goes gaga for him. She likewise attempts to deliver him once again from the memory of Komali however to no end. In the interim, Akansha spots Komali going across a road. Akansha hurries to Sanju to enlighten him regarding Komali, and around then, Sanju gets encircled by Shawar Ali's men. Sanju, while slamming up Shawar Ali's men, lets Akansha know that it was his arrangement to trap her in his affection to retaliate for the passing of his and Komali's folks on account of Shawar Ali. Then displayed in a flashback in the wake of pummeling Shawar's sibling, Sanju had taken Komali's body to the medical clinic, from where Sanju's dad hits up the focal clergyman to capture Shawar Ali in Spain subsequent to watching the video film. The focal pastor then calls up Shawar Ali to polish off this difficulty to save himself. Shawar Ali then goes to the clinic and kills Sanju's and Komali's folks and shoots Sanju and Komali, and they are assumed dead. Nonetheless, Sanju and Komali didn't bite the dust. It is then uncovered that Sanju has been standing by this opportunity to pursue his retribution and has made a Kangsha the pawn in this game, and it was he who faxed their photograph to make Shawar Ali envious so Shawar Ali will come himself to kill Sanju. Afterward, it is uncovered that Komali isn't dead and that the two of them needed to retaliate for their folks' demise. Sanju and Shawar participate in a fight in the backwoods where Sanju kills Shawar Ali with Akansha's assistance. Sanju and Komali live cheerfully, while Akansha lives alone. Thanks for watching my review of Idarame Alatho. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews. See you next time.